To add weighted questions to an existing checklist that has had weighted questions activated, select Checklist Builder from the left-hand menu. From here, find the existing checklist where you would like to add the weighted questions and select Manage Sections. On the next screen, if you do not have any existing sections, you will have to use the Add Section button to add one or more sections. Once you have a section, you can add questions. If you have existing sections, and you have one that has one or more questions, you'll see the Manage Questions link. If you click that link, you can add questions, or if you select the Add Question link to a section that does not have questions, then that will prompt you to add a new question. So, in order to add a weighted question, you select that link, put in your question, then once complete, if you leave this weighted score box blank, it will use the default score of 20. If you do not leave it blank and you put a different score in there, it will not use the default score. For example, if we put in 10, that will not use the default score. By clicking Add Question, we can now see that this question has been added with a score of 10. However, if we add a new question by going to Add Question, and once we put in our question, and we go to the weighted score box and we leave this blank, then this question will use the default score of 20. So by clicking Add Question, this question now is highlighted in red, which means it's using the weighted default score. Now, if you were to ever change the default score for a checklist for the default values, then this would change from 20 to whatever default value you change it to. Now, on another note, if we click Add Question and go to add another one, if we change this response type from Pass Fail to Whole Number, you'll see Weighted Score is still available, as well if we change it to Decimal Number, Weighted Score is still available. However, if we change it from either Pass Fail, Whole Number, Decimal Number to some other response type, such as Text, you will see Weighted Score goes away. The reason for this is if you want to have a weighted score for a question on a checklist, it has to be a checklist question that can pass or fail.